Hey you guys, it's DJ. Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a smoky eye tutorial. And I thought it was perfect for the fall. It's actually a collaboration video with my dear friend, Classy Girl Creations here on YouTube. So be sure to show her page some love as well. Like her video and subscribe to her channel. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of her look and then stay tuned for mine. Skin Pore Eraser in conjunction with my Milani Prime Shield Face. It's mattifying actually. They're both um, good for mattifying your pores. So that's why I use them both together because these pores are a mess, honey. So, yes, I use that. I'm going to dip into my bronzer duo that I have here. This side here I use for bronzing, and this side here is actually a blush, but it makes for a really, really pretty transition shade. And we're going to pop that right here as my transition shade. And we're just going to use windshield wiper motion. So for my black, I take my HD gel liner here. It's by Ruby Kisses. You probably can't see that because it's worn off. So I've had it for a little while. It's just a black gel liner, okay? So I'm gonna take my flat top brush that I have here. And the purpose of doing this, I know you're like, what is the, why did you put the gel on? We're just going to put black over it. The purpose of doing this is so it lasts all day long. If you use your, your black gel liner, then you go over top of it with a black eyeshadow, you're setting it. So it's going to stay put all day long. It's not going to crease on you or anything like that. And it really makes for a pretty flawless smoky eye. And I'm bringing that red down into the black as well, like this. Just swiping it down. I'm going to use this white here. It doesn't matter what white you use. And I'm just using my domed eyeshadow brush to apply that to my um, brow bone. Just 
do the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and then I'm gonna do my foundation. Just wanted to show you really quickly what lashes I used. Came uh, in a pack of five. I actually ordered these off of Wish and um, they're really elongated. So these are probably better for me once I um, put in my contacts. But I'll just show you really quick uh, what I do to them. So this is what they look like. They are really, really pretty. I love these eyelashes. Now when they come off the band first, um, they are, they have this extra piece at the end there. I don't know if you can see that. They have an extra piece at the end. So I'm gonna show you what I do. What I do before I put them on, I just clip that piece off on both sides. Now, I don't know about you, but I have really, really, um, pretty big eyes. So I don't really have to, I don't have to cut this band at all aside from that piece on each end. And then um, the little long end, like the little long hairs that are at the end there, they're a little bit too much for my glasses. So if I'm gonna wear my glasses that day, then all I do is just take my scissors and the pieces that are a little bit longer than the other pieces, can you see that? Like these pieces here that are a little bit longer, I just take my scissors and I just really carefully just snip those away like that. And then I make a really simple eyelash, just like that. And then that's what I put on. So for foundation, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I use the color 355 Coconut. Solution, so about that much. And um, I stressed before that I don't usually apply foundation to my forehead for, I don't know why, but I just don't like the look that it gives when I put foundation on my forehead. So I would literally just like do that, that's it. And then I have noticed that when I use like a, um, a stippling brush, and when I say a stippling brush, I mean a brush that looks like this. Your foundation comes out looking completely different. If you lay down a smooth canvas first, use a flat top um, foundation brush first, and then go back and buff it all out with a beauty blender. And it'll look so much better, I guarantee you. Um, Pro Concealer Highlight in the color Fawn. I have, um, I really have a love-hate relationship with this concealer, but we're going to see how it works today. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. I have this um, black opal stick foundation here, and when I bought it a long time ago, it was a little bit darker for me, so I just used it um, for contouring, and it has been true to me ever since.
right under my contour line just to make it pop a little bit just like that okay and we're just going to blend that down I talked about earlier in the little bronzer duo that I have the same blush brush I'm gonna go in with that bronzer I'm gonna go over okay so I went ahead and set my entire face with my Mac studio fix powder in the color NW45 I just took my brush and went all over my face no magic okay and then I applied the blush that I use as my transition shade I applied that on top of my contour so now I'm going to use my liquid uh, luminizer okay it's just a highlighter it's just in liquid form but I'm gonna show you how to do a beauty wedge I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray this is my L'Oreal infallible setting spray I'm gonna spray it like that just gonna massage that in there. Gonna put some of that luminizer on the back of my hand. So rub that in, dip it onto that luminizer. Very, very lightly. And I'm gonna take it up across my face. And we're just gonna dab, okay? Just like that. Like that. Buff it out with my brush. Okay, so I'm done applying my highlighter. I applied it on both of my cheeks. I went down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna go ahead and use my black lipstick. This is. I don't know who it's by, you guys. I just got it from the beauty supply store. So I'm gonna use this. It's a moisturizing lipstick, but I'm gonna make it mattified. scent powder and a brush just gonna dip it on there and pat my lips in case you didn't know that that's a trick any moisturizing lipstick get a little translucent powder tap it on there and boom it's matte Okay, so this is the finished look, you guys. I am so happy with it. Um, all I did was just apply a little bit more white in my tear duct area. I applied a little mascara. This is what I used. Of course, I set my face with my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. And I just smoked out my bottom lash line uh, with a little bit of black. And I used a small detailer brush like this one here. And I just smoked it out. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Classy's video, subscribe to her channel, and remember, perseverance starts with N. Nobody, I mean nobody, can push you like you.